quiz time. Okay, let's have a go at making some quizzes. Okay, if I want to, oops, get rid of that. If I want to add a quiz, so the plus here, you can use, uh, you can create an assignment or a quiz. Now I'm going to show you a quiz first because quizzes uh, mark themselves. Okay, quiz titles. So these quizzes, um, they are pretty good. Um, please be aware the software is not massively advanced, so it's not too intuitive at times. So let's say you wrote a question and the answer was increased. If a student wrote go up, it wouldn't necessarily recognize that they're the same concept. So it might be worth just warning your students about that. Uh, quiz title, how to do the instructions, read the questions, whatever. Um, you can put a time limit on. on. Um, I tend to leave it as 60 minutes. Once the time limit has started, uh, it doesn't stop. OK, there is no pause button. Once they are in the quiz, they have got to complete the quiz. That does mean that if their computer crashes halfway through, uh, tough. It will have marked what they've done so far, but that's it. So you might have to reset a quiz that way as well. Um, so show results to students upon completion. Yes, I'd always have that because then they can actually check through their answers, especially those that if they in that example, like if they put increased and it was go up, they can actually see. No, actually, it looks like I've got it wrong, but I have got it right. Uh, lock after due date. I did that a few times with the e-revision just so it definitely showed me who hadn't been doing it on time. But actually, there's a provision for that in Ed Edmodo anyway. It tells you if the assignments or quizzes have been done late. So I didn't even need to do that. Uh, and randomised questions is what it says on the tin. It just puts them in a random order. So the questions that you can have on. There's all sorts of different formats. Uh, there's a simple true and false. Is chemistry is tree the best? And then you click yes. And there we go. That's that first question added. Add new question. As you can see, a little saving all changes come up. Uh, true or false? Done. Multiple choice. Again, write the question, write a response, and you make sure that you just click on the one that you want to be the right answer. There we go. Uh, if you didn't want as many choices, you just click X and that gets rid of it. If you want loads of choices, Da, 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 da. Uh, within that, you can change the amount of points it's worth. So two, three, four, five, whatever the heck you like. Um, fill in the blanks. So you write a question or you write a sentence and they fill in the blanks. The blanks, you just do a little underline and you can see down here, that's where you write in the answer. Um, OK, just like that. And um, what else have we got? Uh, matching. There we go. So here it's shown it as matched up to the answer. The kids will get it all mixed up. Um, the This is a sort of drag and drop when you see it actually in the preview. Um, it doesn't work particularly well on the app. So Edmodo is available on all internet browsers. As I say, works best on Chrome, um, but there is an app for it as well. Uh, the kids doing the e-revision found the app quite useful, um, but it the app still does need a bit of development. It's not perfect uh, and it doesn't it won't do these matching ones. Um, multiple answer is similar to multiple choice, but where you can have more than one answer. So the way I've been using it is um, talking about uh, tests for different chemicals. So I'll put that the test might be uh, add iodine. Um, and then the result something like that and then just a few other random options as well and the kids would just have to tick the two that match up 
Uh, I got chatting to somebody yesterday, I can't remember who it was now, um, about short answers um, because all of them have the ability to self-mark. So that's not you doing any marking, which is great, except for short answer. So in short answer, there is just the question and they have to type an answer back to it which is fine uh, but then you do have to go in and mark it afterwards um, oh, within these as well um, if you wanted to ask a question based on a picture you can attach files There you go, look at this planet, what is it? Um, your library is kind of like a little mini file store on Edmodo, uh, it works quite nicely, you're very welcome to have a play with that. Add a link, you might want to make them uh, watch a video. Watch this video and tell me what period of time they're talking about, whatever, match it up to however you wanna use it. Okay, and once it's done, uh, you can preview it to make sure it's actually done correctly. Uh, Always worth double checking. Chemistry is the best. True. Next. Oops. Oh, go away. There we go. You can see I've done the question. There's the picture. There we go. And the kids, they have a little button here to submit. Because uh, this is a preview, it's not going to do that. Okay. Assign it to a class. When it's due, uh, let's go next Friday at 5 p.m. Show results, yes, not gonna lock it. Randomized questions, nah. Add to grade book, yes, because that uh, keeps well keeps you a grade book, a marked book there. Uh, schedule for later, if you do not want to post right that very moment, if you want it to be available from a specific time. Uh, okay, I want that to be available on Friday. 9 a.m. because that's when the webinar is but I'm not going to set a webinar this time I'm going to do an assignment or a quiz assign and go okay so that'll come up on that group then okay so that is the uh, quizzes the assignments are very similar I, I say similar it works in a similar way um but it's it's like a free input. Uh, so assignment that I've done recently with my students is I've got them to tell me about the evolution of an atmosphere. They had to make a, a storyboard. So I put the instructions there. I put attachments to the PowerPoint that I had for that. Uh, and they just cracked on with it like that. And again, in very much a similar way, um, you can add attachments, blah, 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 blah. Assign. And then assign just in the same way that you would do for the quiz.